Everybody, we're live on YouTube, and I am going to flip this thing backwards. <laughs> that did not work. There you go. Look, there okay. it is. Sweet. So we promised you guys live at 2 o'clock. It is now 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to wait for actual content for like a minute and a half, two minutes, let some people come in here. Uh, we told everybody on Facebook and Instagram, and we also... Did you send an email, Vanessa? No. Okay. And this is behind camera. So if you guys want to say hi to her, say hi to her. If you have questions, ask questions. Uh, I'm going to turn on a light and then uh, show you guys what's in the box. And yeah, that's a quote from Seven, uh, a movie from the foremost of you report. You can follow me if you want to. With tripod or just with panning, whatever you want to do. If you guys don't have extension cords coming down from your ceiling, get extension cords coming down from your ceiling. They're amazing. All right. Whew, that's right. So we're live. It's our fab. We're live. Gonna do content pretty much right now, but how many people are in there? Five. There's five of you guys. Uh, there should be 20 to 30 and then more. So we've got some vent tubing in the box. We're gonna do some announcements. I generally wait for a few people to get in here for the live. Uh, the fun about live videos is you can do comments. So say hi, tell us where you're from, give us questions if you have them. And um, if you have no clue why you're here, go ahead and admit it. No one's gonna make fun of you. I mean, well, I will. I'll make fun of you. But who knows? Um, the vendor is here. I can move it if we want to plug it in. Let's see if we can not do that. Both people that answer phones today are here, so whoever's calling us isn't getting answered. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, point of the live video, the main point is I want to show you guys some bends we just did and give you a little teaser of the video that we're going to be editing and publishing in probably about a week and then let you guys know where our team is right now, why Brandon's not here, and then uh, give you guys a pre-product drop kind of teaser and announce a sale. So, lots of information coming your way. Covering it up, this is a shipping label because this is actually going to a customer. So this is the first little bit of news. It's fun and it's something we just did. And this box is just filler. This is going to be a spare tire mount for a pre-run. It's actually extremely light. There's four of them. It's probably for two pre-runners. But this is inch and a half by 083 wall, 1020 DOM. So it's pretty light, and that's easy to bend on this machine, like an M625 or M601, without a manual. You can just bend it on a six inch radius, the bends come out beautiful, the ratios work out. This is a four and a half inch radius. The customer requested a tighter radius, and we were able to do that with a mandrel. So if you guys don't know, mandrel bending, you put a piece inside the tube and it stays in one place as the tube is bent around it, holds the tubing open, improves bend quality, and allows you to bend thinner stuff makes the tubing also have really amazing bend quality. So this has only, we're gonna see how close this thing can focus. I don't know if it'll focus on that. Probably focus better if it has something to aim at, not eyeballs. Um, this is really round on the outside and it's also really round on the inside. Uh, some benders have kind of a V shape to their dies and they deform the inside edges there. This has only 2.4% deformation total anywhere you measure it. It's only one place, the outside is slightly Slightly stretched, um, really, really minimal. Most people see bends that are like five, six percent, and they think they're perfect. This will kind of ruin you visually if you see it in person, because then you'll be able to see tubing pretty much always look flat after you see that. So really nice bends, and if you guys have ran the mandrel, you'll know you can turn the crank in the back and adjust the mandrel position front to back, which determines your bend quality and how much the mandrel impacts it. Too far forward is bad, too far backward is bad. Uh, this one, uh, I just threw it in there uh, at one and three eighths. I thought that'd be a good place, and it was. One shot, got it. So 
We didn't have to do a whole bunch of monkeying around with it. And as I said, we're shipping these to a customer. We don't normally bend for money, but a customer actually placed an order for bends right on our web page. You can buy bends to show your customers, or you can send us a drawing, and as long as the requirements aren't too strict, we'll just make it and send it to you. Uh, this one was about $800 in you know material, labor, everything. Um, we make it, it's in print, we ship it on out. This one made over $500 an hour, uh, including setup, cleanup, uh, reviewing the design, cutting and deburring the tube, everything. We're going to shoot a full video start to finish showing that process, not with the idea of teaching you how to run the machine, but just with, just with the idea of showing you basically what a job shop operation looks like for tube bending. So you guys can see if you want to make money with your equipment, what that looks like and how much return you can get on that investment. So any questions yet? How do I enter for the monthly bender? Monthly bender drawing, excellent question. There is not one going on right now. Um, we're periodically grabbing people who write reviews and sending them shirts and stuff like that for fun, but right now there is no monthly drawing going on. Uh, for a few years straight, we did drawings every single month. Uh, they take a lot of work to administrate and or administer, and they're you know, we started seeing some decreases in participation and it was kind of hard to keep all the swag items fresh. So we pumped the brakes on that, slowed down, and we haven't done it in a few months now. We usually do them once or twice a year still. So check out our blog or just follow uh, social media. Make sure you subscribe to our email list and we will tell you guys when we do them. But right now there is not a drawing. So I was going to tell you guys what we've been working on in the shop and I was going to tell you guys uh, about our new video. That is the new video. It is going to be the basically how to make money with your tube bender and roughly how much we made on our last job. We just released one of those videos a couple of weeks ago as well, where we made $500 an hour on a different bending project. So check that one out. Brandon did that one start to finish. Uh, this one was mine start to finish. I don't think I made more than him per hour because I'm better at it. I just think I had an easier uh, job to make money on because this one's mandrel bending, so you get to charge more for it. Mandrel bending is much more limited equipment. Very few shops in the country have it compared to regular benders. So there's a lot less competition in that market. This one's electric hydraulic, so it bends at about four and a half degrees per second, and it returns a little bit faster at about five degrees per second, just because the return area on the hydraulic cylinders is lower. This one has an automatic stop, so while it's bending, we don't have it hooked up right now, but while it's bending, it'll stop. And if it does stop, you can't bend it the wrong amount. Uh, it's really sweet. So it's good for operators that aren't as skilled when they make the bend, they can't really overbend it, which is nice. And I told you guys we're going to do a sale announcement. I'll get to that in a minute. Product announcement. We actually put a new product on our web page. It's already there. It is buried. You'll have to go searching for it if you want to find it. Uh, Vanessa doctored up a picture of it recently. Some of you guys guessed what it was. Some of you didn't. But it was all pixelated. It was super hard to tell what it was, uh, precisely anyway. And it's on the web page. It is hidden. It is part of the sale that I'm going to announce at the end of this video. And uh, it is the biggest product that we have come out with since the tube bender back in like I think 2011 or something like that. So pretty major announcement. Um, it is another metalworking tool. It stands all by itself. But on the cool side, you can actually run it off the bender. This has quick release hydraulics and you can unplug the hydraulics from your bender if you have a two horsepower with the joystick. And you can plug it into this other tool, which you can search around for on the web page and probably find. Um, Vanessa is also working on a post to reveal the true identity, picture, color, size, uh, and likely pricing of that tool. So even if you can't figure it out, if you don't have time, uh, we'll be emailing you guys and telling you what it is in probably about a week. We're waiting until we have a video of that tool. I know, I keep talking about more videos coming out. That video will be coming out showing that tool in use, some of its capacities, some of its automations, what you can do with it. Uh, so that will be a really neat one, and it's going to basically be revealed with the video. That way you guys don't say, well, hey, there's a new tool. I want to see a video. We want to have the video at the same time. Before I mention the sale, I'm going to ask our camera woman questions. Nope. Nobody has questions. Nope. You know, I used to be nervous that you guys were going to ask me super difficult, like personal, invasive questions. Do you want to tell them where Brandon and them are? That's a good idea. I told them I was going to. Gonna make me how big of a money. pipe can your benders do? Someone asked how big a pipe? Mm -hmm. Um, that's somewhat of a dynamic question. How big a tube or pipe can the bender do? So right now on our webpage, you can buy dies for up to two inch outside diameter. 
and the M625, which is this one, can do up to quarter inch wall. That's, you know, covered by warranty, what we recommend. Now we did bend two inch solid steel bar in this machine, it works, but we didn't cover it under warranty. The same way if, you know, Ferrari tests their cars to 10,000 RPM, they're gonna probably put the red line somewhere below that figure, right? So we don't recommend to bend two inch solid bar in it. Um, I did say it's kind of a dynamic question. We have bent up to two and three eighths OD in this machine, which is the outside diameter of a certain tube and also for two inch nominal pipe. So two inch schedule 40 pipe is exactly 2.375 OD. We bent it in this machine. Uh, we did mandrel bending and the bends came out gorgeous, but there was some issues with a pressure die design we had in the machine. So we're working on revising that. And that is why you cannot currently buy that on the webpage. If you have a need for two and three eighths, we may actually offer it to the public sometime soon because we're still innovating in that area. And it would work in any machine we've sold in recent history. It would not be something new you'd have to buy. It'd just be a die set. Good question, long answer. So you might notice that Brandon isn't around. He's usually on camera or behind the camera. I usually mention him. He is actually in Southern California. He is visiting with two uh, YouTube channels right now, and um, they're both pretty substantial in the car space. And uh, I'm not gonna reveal exactly who they are because I don't know if they're planning any surprise content or anything else. I should, certainly wouldn't want to piss them off, but um, they both will have or already have road travel equipment in their shop and they're gonna be doing uh, content on film and they're gonna be posting it to their accounts. And then as soon as they give us permission, we will be posting it to our accounts as well. So you guys will be able to come back here on our YouTube and check that out, which is where I'm gonna plug subscription. If you have not subscribed to our channel, you should subscribe to this channel. Check that bell to get notifications because we do not pester you with stupid videos and in video advertisements where I'm like, oh, you should drink this disgusting energy drink. Mm, I love it. Like there's none of that here. We just tell you guys about tools and about cool fabricators and how you can make money or make your projects with those tools. So that is why you should subscribe out of selfishness for yourself so you can be more successful. Finally, the sale announcement. Vanessa can interrupt me with questions, of course, still. But if you guys want to know the best deal you can ever get on road fab equipment, unless you find somebody who doesn't know what they've got and is selling it, it is going to be usually once a year, Black Friday, we do 10% off. It's been the same for the last several years. Right now, we are in the middle of a one week long spring sale. Uh, it was our marketing team's idea, which is basically Vanessa. And we're doing 10% off. It ends on Saturday, the 26th. So that's just a few days from now. It is 10% off site-wide. There is no special requirements. You don't have to memorize anything. You just go to our webpage and literally anything from like a two to three dollar item up to a like $40,000 elite package that has like tons and tons and tons of stuff and tools and dyes and hydraulics. It's all 10% off and there is no code you have to memorize. When you get to the cart, there's a couple of coupon codes at the bottom of the display. One of them says spring 2025. That's the coupon code. If you love typing, you can type that in, but you can just click on that and 10% goes off of your cart. So you should do that because that is the best deal you're gonna get uh, other than Black Friday, which is the same deal, but you gotta wait for the monstrous rush of orders we get in Black Friday. I mean, some people who don't get up early and place their orders end up waiting through 100, 200 plus orders for us to ship first. So right now is a great time uh, to get an order in and have basically Black Friday pricing because it's the exact same sale we did on Black Friday. But be able to do it now when you're springtime and build time, crunch time. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for the race season or getting ready for next year's King of the Hammers and it is build time. You guys have questions? No? All right. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please do subscribe. You know, even if we get 10 or 15 subscribers, we can see that. We've only got 20,990, I believe, as of this morning. So I will know if you guys click it. And if you don't, I will still know that you didn't. Not really. See you guys next time.